this here is what I put as soon as I came and built this adoration chapel here. Mm. <clears throat> and this is a chapel where people come and pray all day. So we expose the blessed sacrament mm. 24 hours a day. And people come and spend time in prayer. Spend time in prayer. And like last night, a whole group of people were here mm -hmm. just to come and pray. Wow. And then every hour, there's always somebody here mm -hmm. the whole day. We've mass here at 12.15. We've mass at 6.30 this morning. Wow. And then um, this is always, always a prayer. Wow. We have our special intentions. Okay. And then our testimonies here. Mm -hmm. People come and give testimony. So, and then there's a confession room there for those who need confession. Who's that? That's St. Paquita from Sudan. She was a slave girl who was captured, escaped three times and was captured three times. And then she, um, she went with the Italian consul over to Italy. Mm. And there she decided to become a Catholic. Mm. And when she became a Catholic, um, then she decided to become a reverend sister. Mm. So she worked up in Schio, up mm. near Venice. Mm. And she was the first saint of the year 2000, the year 2000. She's an inspiration to many because she never gave up. Mm. And she was always forgiving. Mm. When she was in slavery, they cut her open, cut her 130 parts and put salt in it. So she really suffered. She really was, she's an inspiration to many people because of mm. her. You know, so our, our relics of, are on the altar here. We keep the relics here mm. on the altar. So this, and then this is the divine mercy okay. picture. Jesus, I trust okay. in you. Mm. This is the year of mercy in the Catholic Church. Mm. The Pope called it last year, 8th of December to this year, Feast of Christ the King. So this year we're talking on the mercy of God, mm. the love of God, that God is a merciful Father. And we take it from Luke chapter 6, verse 36. When it says, you know, be merciful like the Father. Mm. So we, we have the whole year activities concerning the mercy of God. Mm. Many people fear God, they're afraid of God. Many people have got to see God as a judge and they're mm. far away. But Pope Francis is trying to tell people, look, God is near you, God mm. is a loving one. That beautiful passage from Luke 15, the story of the prodigal son, mm. especially around verse 20, 21. You know, when the father hugged the son mm -hmm. and kissed him tenderly. That's a, like a picture of God. Mm -hmm. And when he holds the son and forgives him, and the son says he's sorry, you know, that mercy and forgiveness of God. And that's the picture that I see of mm -hmm. God, you know, the, the forgiveness, the mercy, that no matter what we've done, mm -hmm. no matter what sins we've committed, there's always the mercy of God is there. Mm -hmm. So this one, that's why this year is a year of mercy. And this, this is the picture, you know, Jesus, I trust in wow. from his heart to flow those away. Right. And these are people who come to pray. Mm. Look. Wow. This is just this morning. I was here at 4.20. Wow. 4.20? I, oh, I come here early every morning. One hour every morning. Every morning. Come here. Wow. Oh, yeah. I do my hour every morning. Four o'clock, around four o'clock, every morning do one hour. I'm too busy in the daytime to come and spend time in prayer. So I come in, so everybody signs, not everybody signs in, not everybody, but many people sign in to give that time to God. Father, it's, I actually last question. I'm yes. Uh -huh. Shh, when the Lord calls you home, uh -huh. where do you want to be buried? Oh, here, oh, Ghana. Oh, this is my home, I've, I've again a passport. On the 3rd of July 2013, the uh, minister in Ahoy gave me my passport and said, Father, you should have got this years ago, years ago, he said. So, uh, so when I'm in and out of Ghana, I have no problem. I've got my passport. I'll vote this year. I'll vote, yeah. So I'll be buried here, of course. I'm a stranger at home. I just have my family. My family's getting smaller and smaller because my aunts and uncles are all dying. How many people do I know when I go home? I don't know the place. I know a crowd better than anywhere else. <laughs> but this is my hometown. That's why I'm called Nilante. Oh, Nilante? Nilante of Lante. Uh, from, the Gaan, from the Gaan tribe. I worked there for 20 years. 
20 years in a crowd. Well done, Father. <laughs> oh, Father, thank you thank so you. much. Thank Such you. a thank great you. honor. You you've, so, you. you've done a remarkable thank work. You. God well, bless we, you. We continue. There's still a lot to be done. Mm. A lot, a lot to be done. We just started a soup kitchen, too. A soup kitchen. We all those people who come around begging and begging and begging. We, we give them breakfast every morning. And now we're going to under the bridge to the drug addicts and the rest and give them breakfast. And people come and give us food and give us money to go and bring food to them and feed them. Well, that's what we're here for. Isn't this what the church is there for us? To bring food, to bring love, to bring just to take care of, we take care of their, their, their health. We have doctors taking care of their health, taking care of the food and their clothing. This is, this is our life. Everyone, this is what the church is for. This is what the body of Christ is for. And Father Andrew Campbell in Africa, West Africa, in Accra, Ghana, from the Christ the King Parish, is doing wonderful work. He's celebrating his 70th birthday and over 45 years of feeding people and building schools and name it. He's done it all and we're celebrating him this very moment. Father Campbell, thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.